friends. Pray for me. Pray for me, friends. <laughs> Hello, friends. Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Headed towards the champion of the Pokemon Elite Four, Mr. Lance. Oh my god. We've lost Acorn, so we are going up with five Pokemon. They're all level 52, which is uh, probably going to leave us a little bit out leveled. We'll see how it goes. I heard about you, Dayton. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. I know the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Dayton. Oh, fuck. No! It, I come so far, it's like almost 60 episodes, 50-something episodes, 56 episodes, holy shit! It can't end here. It won't end here. Yeah, and he leads with a Cascoon. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for Poison Fang, I suppose. I don't think that it has a Poison Typing yet. Oh, easy. It's just gonna use Harden. All right, what a fantastic start. Your league challenge ends with me. Go, Cascoon! <laughs> oh, what? Are you sure? Yes. Cascoon's the greatest Pokemon. He evolves early. Are you a bug catcher, Lance? <laughs> I was before I became the league champ. Wow, this place sucks. No wonder I win. <laughs> and here comes the fly. Hopefully I'll be able to kill it. Ah. Uh, it hardened, but it did not harden enough. So my girlfriend says. <laughs> ah, I wrecked out this function joke. Here comes a Mareep, which I do not fear because I still have used acid on my side. And uh, he's still got quite a few earthquakes left in him. Fuck, I, I'm still sad that we lost Acorn, but uh, use acid is the OG now. So hit that thing with an earthquake. Shadoosh! And it's only level 54, so we're we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, one hit KO. No problem. Gonna keep it going. Alright, uh, what's next? A Deuce Clops. Hmm. We don't have Acorn, unfortunately. Batman has Bite, which I think will work just fine. Uh, I think Khan also has Bite. But they don't have the same type of attack bonus that um, Acorn got, which is really unfortunate. I'll hit this thing with a Confuse Ray because I don't know what it's planning on doing really and I'm not keen to find out. So yeah, just hit yourself. Just hit yourself with your stupid little arms in the front. Hey, like a T-Rex. Yeah, he did it! Yay! <laughs> Alright, so let's go for the bite now. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to flinch slash confusion him into the ground. Nope, he snapped out of confusion basically right away. Here comes the Shadow Punch. Boom! Same type of attack bonus. Doesn't do too bad. Uh, Dusclops is more of a wall than an offensive Pokemon, really. And we did get him to flinch again. I'll keep the, uh, Confuse Rate on him. I think the Full Restore is gonna be coming just because I'm not able to, um, whittle that much HP off of him. I'll probably take him down into the red with the next bite, and then the Full Restore will come. Oh, fuck! And here comes the Will-O-Wisp, which is really, really not good. Um... You know, I'm gonna burn a fucking full restore right now on Batman. Just because I don't want to deal with that shit. Who does? And yeah, that residual damage really adds up quick. And it cuts Batman's attack. Uh, burn cuts attack, which is really, really foul. Uh, so he's got me with the mean look. That's not good either. Damn, I can't switch out now. We gotta keep him confused. Because if he has curse or something like that, um, it could be really bad if we don't knock him out in just one hit. So he is confused. I hope he hits himself. Yes, he does. And I'm just really praying that he doesn't use curse. And if he does, that he KOs himself with it. So he has a sliver of HP, snaps out of confusion. Here comes the Will O Wisp. Damn it. Get this shit off of me. Oh, and he's gonna full restore on the next turn. It sucks. That sucks, man. Yeah, there it goes. Damn. Why you gotta do this? Fucking assholes. Alright. Our bite is doing much, much less now. 
I think I'm gonna go for the... Let's confuse him first, and then I'll full restore. This is quite a foul Pokemon to be up against. Quite a wall. Luckily, it's not a Dusk Noir, which is the evolved form of Dusk Dusclops, um, because Dusk Noir actually does have quite a bit of offensive power. So he hurts himself in confusion, which is really nice. I'm gonna hit this full restore now. We got 69 of them left. Meh. I really should have used one on fucking Acorn. I, I knew the explosion was coming. I said something about the explosion coming right before Acorn died, which is probably the most unfortunate part. Um, but oh well, spilt milk. We'll keep biting this Dust Noir. Here's where we are now. We'll try to whittle this thing down. Maybe dark type moves are special because it seems to be doing about the same amount of damage that it was. Unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna be able to KO him this turn either. So he's gonna get that full restore again. God damn it. And he snaps out of confusion, so there's no chance for him to even hit himself. Ugh, oh, and those shadow punches are quite something. Oh good, no more full restore. Thank fuck. All right, goodbye, Discops. Wow, what a nasty poke. What a nasty poke he was. All right, he's got a Pikachu. That is no problem. I know just what to do with electric types. Get out there, you acid. It's earthquake time. Earthquake time. All right. Cute little adorable Pikachu, level 58. And he's got that thunder. Ooh, but it's not going to be able to do much because I do have part uh, grass type. So yeah, not very effective, unfortunately for you. I think he also learns like normal types attack, like slam, um, which are resisted by the rock type. So use ass is the perfect Pikachu counter, and he's able to knock him out with an earthquake. I love you so much, use ass. You're gonna carry us the whole way, buddy. Ah. All right. So level 53 for use ass and Batman. Uh, he's got a battle toy, which is ground and psychic, I believe. So, I will go into, mm, uh, mm, we'll just do Quackers. Should be able to hit this thing with a couple try attacks and cause some massive trouble for it. So there it is, Lance's ultimate Pokemon. <laughs> and I trace its Levitate, which is really fortunate so it can't hit me with any of its ground attacks. I'll go for the Toxic to start with, uh, so we can just get some damage damage rolling on it, and uh, once it starts to take enough toxic damage, then the tri attacks should be able to just knock it out. Unfortunately, I did miss my toxic. Probably something to do with the sandstorm. Um, yeah, we'll blame the sandstorm. Mm-hmm. Ancient power. Oh, fuck. He's getting those stat-ups from ancient power. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, no! Make him stop! Alright, we did get the Toxic on it, fortunately. But it, it has a plus one in all of its stats now, so I'm getting a little scared because it also has eight levels up on me. Um, and I, I don't want to lose Quackers. I really like Porygon. Ugh. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna take a shit ton of Toxic damage. I don't have any Solar Beams left, unfortunately. That was a stupid move on my part. There's the ancient power again. Holy fuck. And a critical hit. It's not good. Show me what try attack does. I think I'm gonna heal Quackers up on the next turn just because I don't want to roll the dice. Try attack does decent damage, uh, but Quackers is definitely hurting. So I need to let off the gas for just a second um, because I don't want to fight my, my rival, Sun, with only f four Pokemon available. So there you go, Quackers. Back up on your feet, boy. Oh my god. And here comes the Ancient Power again. Ugh. Oh god damn it. Now he's got plus two. This is going so bad, dude. I'm getting so worried. Like, my Pokemon aren't hurting yet. But if, 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 if. Oh my god, if. Ancient Power doesn't have that much PP, so hopefully... Hopefully, I don't know, man. This is fucked up right here. <sighs> friends, pray for me. Pray for me, friends. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try the try attack. Hopefully he'll get knocked out this turn by Toxic and try attack. It doesn't do that much damage to me, fortunately, because he is an unevolved Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, with the Toxic damage, we should be able to knock him out. Fuck. 
That thing scared the hell out of me, man. Are you kidding? Ugh. <sighs> All right, there it is. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you're a Pokemon master. Yay, I'm a Pokemon master. I still can't believe my dragons lost you, Dayton. You didn't have a single dragon, Lance. You're now the Pokemon League champion. Yay! Or you would have been. Not, why would you say that first? <laughs> but you have more, one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is Sun. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Shit. <laughs> so I'll heal up my Pokemons and uh, we'll get ready to fight Sun. I ain't gonna cut to another episode. This is just gonna be a super long one because it's also gonna include the end credits. Hopefully, probably, if it all goes uh, according to plan. All right, we're all healed up. We're ready to go. I'm uh, a little nervous, as might be expected. Let's lead with... We'll lead with the wall. <laughs> yeah, use ass is probably a good choice. Porygon 2 is not a bad choice either. He does have that toxic and stuff. Oh, this room looks so cool compared to how I remember. Hey, Dayton. I was looking forward to seeing you, Dayton. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Dayton, do you know what that means? I'll tell ya, I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. I'm taking you down, son. Gotta knock, knock him down a peg or two. Here we go. <sighs> it's been a long time coming, kiddo. Here comes the Kingdra. Oh my god, level 59. Fuck. It's alright. Um, let's hit it with the Confuse Ray. He goes straight for the Hydro Pump, which is gonna hit me neutrally and probably do a shit ton. Yeah, it doesn't quite um, destroy me. <laughs> But it does do near half, which is making me nervous. Luckily, the Confuse Ray hits. I'm gonna get a little leftovers healing. And uh, maybe I can hit it with some Rock Tombs and then some Giga Drains. And that would be just great. Hit yourself, hit yourself. No, he goes for the Hydro Pump again. Oh, it's looking bad for you, Acid already. Oh, buddy. Don't do that, buddy. Oh, god damn it. It's not good. That's not good already. All right. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to toss him a full, full restore. We got so many of them left. I know this battle is gonna happen for me. I just need to play it carefully because his Pokemon are way fucking over leveled compared to mine. All right, he does hurt himself in the confusion. Really, really fortunate for me. Uh, I'll go ahead and try that Rock Tomb one more again because I really need the speed drop on that thing. It's gonna help me out a lot in the battle, I presume. He hits himself again, fantastic. There's the rock tomb. Just what daddy likes. All right. So I still don't think he's gonna be slower than use acid. So we'll go for the rock tomb one more time. He's still confused over there. Here comes the hydro pump. I think it only has five um, PP. Oh my God, that does so much, dude. Knocks me down half in like no time flat. All right, so I think he might be slower than me now. I really hope so. <laughs> So, with, le with leftover healing, I should be able to, to live another turn unless he crits. So, I'll go for Giga Drain. He withdraws his Kingdra. Holy fuck. Have you ever seen that before? Here comes Laron, which is actually a really, really bad switch on his part, I think. Um, yeah, that Giga Drain's gonna, gonna hit it hard. And then I have Earthquake waiting in the wings. He probably does have a Steel move, which is gonna be super effective against Use Acid's Rock type. But I'm gonna roll those dice. Ah, uh, he goes for protect. Protect to see what I have, which is probably a wise move. Uh, but it won't be a wise move if he doesn't switch out uh, on the very next turn. Because I have revealed that I have the earthquake and I'm gonna fucking slam his butt. He uses protect again, but it fails. Goodbye to Laron. First fucking KO of the rival battle. Damn, they got some levels on me, but I am determined to do this. We are Dayton Does, baby. Dayton does it. I hate it. Doesn't make no sense. It doesn't flow. So here comes the Hitmonchan. Holy shit. This Pokemon has been with his team the entire time. And this is just the reason that I put Golbat onto my team. Hopefully he doesn't have Thunder Punch or some crazy shit like that. Oh my god. Level fucking 63. 
Confuse it. We have one confuse ray. I'm gonna use it on this thing. Jesus Christ, dude. That is so scary. I really hope he doesn't have something super effective. Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Iron Fist, fucking bullcrap. Good. He hits himself in the face. And I'm gonna fly up in the air. Ah, he snapped out of confusion. He uses detect, which is good. Because, uh, that will disable his detect on the next turn. Or at least give it a 50% chance to fail. He doesn't use it. Uh, and that fly fucking leaves a big, big dent in Hitmonchan. And he does get flinched from the King's Rock. Yes! So he's gonna full restore. I'm gonna take that opportunity to fly up into the air again. And we'll keep the offensive momentum of this fight going. Uh, we do kind of give him a free turn, but Batman is not scared. Unless this thing unveils Ice or Thunder Punch, I think. So he's got the counter. Oh, fuck! Damn it, no! There goes Batman. Oh shit. Well, I'll, I'll send out Khan. This is going really bad. Alright, let's go for the, uh, we'll go for strength first. If he lives, then I'll hit him with the extreme speed. I think strength is a little bit, god damn! That is so strong! Alright, he does live. There's the extreme speed, yeah! It's like plus four priority. So it's gonna hit basically before anything. Even moves like Sucker Punch, which is really, really cool. So we're able to get that Hitmonchan out. Unfortunately, he did fucking sack our Batman. Um, he's got a Cradley. Hmm, I'm kind of scared of Cradley. I will s I will match his Cradley up with a Cradley of my own. We will see who has the superior Cradley. And he has four Pokemon left, just like me. So this is, this is quite a fight. Good fight, good night. Holy shit, man. We can do it. I have faith. All right, so we do have some Confuse Rays. I'm gonna pull one of those out, and uh, hopefully he won't be able to make a move. I'll save my Giga Drains. I think I'm gonna whittle him down through Earthquake primarily. Uh, Giga Drain and Earthquake will both do neutral damage. Rock Tomb will be resisted by uh, his Rock Typing. So I think I will win out, mostly because I have Leftovers. Um, I should get Porygon in here to poison this thing. That would really shorten the fucking battle out. We'll see what Earthquake does and uh, what he does in return. Because I'm a little nervous to just send Porygon in blind, even though the Cradley is confused. Yeah, that's working pretty well, actually. Um, while he's still confused, I think I will switch the Porygon. Going back on what I said three seconds prior. <laughs> Whatever, I really want to knock this thing out sooner rather than later, and I know Porygon has um, the ability to hit anything he brings in with Toxic, so it's a really, really good idea. He does come at me with the Confuse right now, which is probably what he was trying to use all along, uh, but no problem. I'm not scared out by that. I'll go ahead and take a, a hit to the face, if that's what it wants to do, yep. I've been getting really lucky with the RNG as far as, ooh, as far as Confuse Ray is concerned. He ingrains himself, so he's gonna get, like, leftover healing every turn, which fucking sucks, but, uh, it's, it's gonna be fine. We'll Toxic it up. We will Toxic it up. Oh, don't hurt yourself. There you go. Oh, man. This, this fight's getting me hot under the collar, man. I'm so nervous right now. Like, it's, it's, it's quite literally on the very edge. We could fucking lose at any point. Did you see how much damage that hidden power does? If it gets like just a little more plus one plus two, this thing will wreck us way harder than the fucking battle toy ever could. So, um, um, to avoid the ancient power, I'm gonna go back and use acid while that toxic ticks away on the enemy cradley. I think it is the right move. He goes for amnesia, which is gonna boost his special defense. So, uh, my Giga Drain is not gonna do anything against him, uh, basically. We're, we're relying mostly on toxic damage at this point. So, I will take, uh, just a moment to go heal, heal Quackers up. I don't necessarily want to use another Earthquake because I don't know what he has for his last Pokemon. So, just, uh, taking an opportunity to heal up my, my wounded Pokes, I think is the right thing to do here. And, uh... Toxic damage is really starting to rack up on that guy, which is nice. 
nicely, nicely. He would probably be uh, quite closer to dead if he did not have the grain going. But it's no problem. We will come out victorious. Um, yep. A little more full restore. Batman and Acorn, man. Fuck. It's two of my favorite pokes. <sighs> Alright, he comes at me with the ancient power. I actually don't resist it. Rock on rock is not resisted. That's something I didn't know. Okay, so I think toxic damage will take him down on the next turn. He is taking a shit ton of damage from it now. Um, but he'll probably need just a little help, so I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Earthquake now, hopefully it doesn't hit me in confusion or whatever. There we go. ba 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 boosh Nice. He's definitely gonna go down the Toxic this turn. Alright, so it's three Pokemon against four. I think he's spent most of his big guns. He's had a lot of level 60 Pokemon. Are they all like level 60? I should've leveled to 55. Acorn and Batman would be alive if I leveled to 55! No! <sighs> Say it ain't so! We're never coming back! Well, I can look at them. I can pay tribute. He's got a fan fee, which, uh, not too bad, I suppose. We did face Donphin earlier, and that wasn't too scary. So fan fee goes for double edge, which is gonna be resisted, and I should be able to fucking drink this thing up. Uh, my very own personal hyper potion. Oh no, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself! Good, good you acid. See, ever since he got clean, he's been, uh, much more clear-minded. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't quite KO that Fanfy, but it does put me back on my feet. I'm not worried about use acid anymore at this point. And we're definitely gonna be able to sack that thing next turn. No, we're not, because he goes for Endure, which will leave him with 1 HP. He's probably gonna have Reversal or some shit like that. Good. Reversal will be much weaker if he is uh, not at 1 HP. So, okay. We should be able to get him this turn, as long as he doesn't Endure again. He does Endure again, but it fails. It's like Detect, or Protect, or one of those moves that doesn't let you hit the opponent. Damn it! We fucking failed! We missed our opportunity! So he's gonna endure again, probably. Uh, I'm gonna confuse Ray him. That should stop these shenanigans, I think. And I snapped out of confusion, which is really, really fortunate. That shit lasted for a long ass time. My god. Ugh. Oh, Fanfy. You little fucker. I didn't think he'd be so difficult, but he's level 61, that's why. We did face down a level 63 Hitmonchan, so I'm not scared of anything anymore. Alright, here comes something. He endures, but it fails. Wonderful, wonderful! We got him, friends! He's got two Pokemon left, I've got four, and they're all in relatively good health. Fuck yeah, this is totally happening. I was definitely worried for a second there, but uh, as long as his next Pokemon aren't like a Mewtwo or a Lugia. Oh, that's right, he has the Kingdra. That fucking Kingdra. We'll bring it back in, bro. We'll see what happens. I'm going to... Earthquake. Earthquake! 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 <laughs> Go ahead. It's not the same type of attack. Probably won't kill him. Damn. So I think probably he's gonna get a full restore, maybe? If uh, my rival has one. Yes, I did not remember him using one before, so I'm taking this opportunity to hit him with the Confused Ray, and then uh, I'll start dumping some Giga Drains on him, and even though it's not going to be super effective, it should be enough. Maybe. Probably. I hope. Goddamn. This thing is so nasty, but um, we'll overcome. This is what we've always done, you know? He's got two Pokemon left. What are we going to do? Give up now? Just be like, oh, forget about it, bro. You know what? You are the champion. I don't even want the belt, man. Fuck that. I want the belt. I'm not hanging above my bed. I'm gonna bring your wife over and look at it while I put my penis in her. And, I don't know, some shit like that. That seems like something uh, that would happen in wrestling, right? It's like a big dramedy show. Fuck, Giga Drain doesn't even do that much. I'll keep going for it. 
Um, but I think he does have another restore health potion waiting in the wings. Oh my god, that's so close. I'm not gonna be able to live through another one. Nope, definitely not. So we're gonna drop that heal on, use acid, just to be safe. Maybe with leftovers I might be able to live another one. Should we roll the dice? Roll the dice, pay the price? We have Albino and Quackers. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We can fucking do it. And he comes with the Twister. Good thing I did not decide to switch right there. So that is not gonna KO. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Twister puts me in the Hydro Pump KO range. Maybe he's out of Hydro Pumps. Is that your secret? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's using Water Gun now. Ha ha ha! I've outlasted you. It's over. Give up now. Your Pokemon League reign is over. Hand the crown to Dayton does. And put it on my head. And kiss the rings, bitch! <laughs> Alright, uh, one more Giga Drain? Fuck, he has the full restore. That should be his last one, though. Man, this is going. This is going for a long-ass time. I tell you what, boys. Alright. There's the uh, the last Giga Drain that I have. Pretty nice. It was able to hold me off from using the full restores for just a while. Not that that really matters at this point. Because I've got like 50 plus. Oh shit, critical hit on the fucking water gun. Thank god he didn't get that on the hydro pump. Or we would have lost use acid very, very early on. Um, shit man. I'm a little nervous about what to do. I don't want to switch in... Anybody else, really? We could switch in Porygon. Um, no, I'm gonna use a full full restore. Full restore, full restore. I need it before I hit the floor. Yeah, Khan would be weak to Water Gun. Albino would be weak to Twister and Quackers. Uh, it's probably the best choice, aside from Use Acid, but Use Acid is doing his work. He's the team OG, okay? He needs a fucking place of honor. A place of honor! Alright, here we go. Um, one more earthquake, and then we're stuck with nothing but rock tubes. Which really fucking sucks. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to do something, or else I will switch into Porygon 2 once I run out of attacking moves. Which is, you know, kind of sad, but, um, I haven't stopped to look for an ether either. Ether either. Oh my god! He's got a third full restore. Is that his last one? He used them all on this fucking Kingdra. Oh my god, is this your favorite Pokemon, son? You can tell me. It's not really, like, that girly or fruity. I know it's Misty's favorite or something. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna pull you Zacid out of here. This is ridiculous. I used all my Earthquakes. All my everything! I fucking had it, alright? I'm out. Hopefully I don't get sacked right now by something foul, but he doesn't have hydro pumps left, that's right, so we'll be fine. Hit him with the toxic. I got time, I got all day, brother. I got full restores, full restores, full restores. You had how many, three? Yep, you had to use all of them to get through, and all the other trainers that were uh, coming here to challenge you. And eventually I'll run out of full restores too, but until that point, we're good. We're good, we got it. I do not fear the water gun. That is a, a move for little baby Pokemon. Are you little baby? <laughs> There's the tri-attack. Decent damage there. I really, really hope he is out of fucking full restores because I'm gonna go for the tri-attack again. He uses Tweezer! Tweezer! Not a problem. I think tri-attack and toxic damage should be able to take this thing down. What a fucking monster. What a fucking monster, dude. Oh my god. I hate it. I hate it so much. All right. What's next? What's the last one? A gulpin. Ah, that's cute. What's then an albino? He hasn't been out here in a while. Did I use the master ball on albino? I guess I did. One of those. Porygon 2 or albino. Um, we do have rest. I forgot about that. Interesting. So if I get poisoned or anything, I can just go to sleep. You gotta sleep, be sleep. And he's definitely gonna poison me with those sludge bombs. That is probably gonna hurt. Yeah, that sucks. 
That's all right. We'll uh, we'll try a little more dragony power things. Twister, slam, thunder. Why don't you slam it? Just slam it. And see how that goes. That's decent. That's all right. But we're not gonna last much longer taking these sludge bombs to the face. So um, yeah, I think I'll be killed next turn if I don't rest. So that is what I will do. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a berry or anything that'll wake him up. So I gotta wait for two turns. Luckily, he won't be poisoned through those two turns. So uh, he should be able to outlast, I believe, if my if my pokey theory is correct. So there it is, the second hit. We should wake up on this turn and be able to, oh no. Oh no, he's gonna get a third hit. Oh fuck, this didn't go as I planned. I should have put Sleep Talk or something on him. All right, slam him, slam him, slam him! Oh, he missed. You fucking missed. Oh, man, we don't have Batman. How, how, how? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh! <laughs> okay. Here's a, a full restore for Albino. Oh, my God, dude. That was so close. His last Pokemon's a Gulpin, and it almost took down my fucking Dragonite. You're a mighty warrior, son. But I shall come out victorious. You mark my words. There's a slam. Two more of those should be able to do it. I, don't, I really hope he doesn't have any more fucking full restores left, or I will shit everywhere. There it is. Damn. That's it. That's it, friends. Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke is complete. We've defeated Champion Sun. That can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign's over already. It's not fair. Quit crying, bitch. Just challenge me again next week or whatever the fucking time limit is. Why? Why did I lose? I never made a mistake of raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although, I don't like to admit it. You have to. The belt says, bitch. <laughs> Dayton. Dayton. Hey, Professor Oak. What's up, brah? You won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League Champion. You've grown up so much since you left with Squirtle. I mean, Eevee, to work on the Pokedex. Dayton, you've come of age. Son, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you'd already lost. Son, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Oh, snap. Dayton, you understand that your victory was not your own doing? The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Dayton, come with me. Okay, let's go in the back room. Are you gonna blow me? Victory blow job! <laughs> oh, shit. Um, congratulations, Dayton. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Dayton, you've worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Dayton. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. <laughs> Friends, I do hope you've enjoyed this. I, I know it was a long time coming. The end, um... We lost a lot of people along the way, uh, subscribers and Pokemon, and I want to apologize for that. But look at this! We got fucking Pokemon Hall of Fame! And that is such a nice team to have gone to the Hall of Fame with. Even the people who sacrificed their lives to get us here are in there. Acorn, Batman, we'll never forget you. Thank you for sticking with me, friends, through this uh, tribulation, if you have. I promise, if Pokemon comes back, um, it'll be much more highly edited. Um, until we decide to do a Nuzlocke again, it's gonna be uh, randomized battles, monotype battles, top 10 lists, etc. I hope you will look forward to that, friends. <sighs> oh shit. Oh, where'd he go? He's sad. He's sad now. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. I guess he said too. He's like, I gotta go comfort that kid before he fucking kills himself. <laughs> Alright, friends, we did it! If you enjoyed this series, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Let us watch the credits roll, and until the next time, friends, bye bye!
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.